Okay, let's talk about a raw diet. This bit is a little bit more sort of a contentious, so to speak, or rather uh, has brought about a lot of different issues, uh, rightfully or wrongfully. We can discuss that in a bit. So there are a few different sort of raw diet out in the market. Okay, so there's raw meat-based diet, okay, the RMBD, whereby they're talking about uh, using sort of uh, different percentages. The bath diet, the fairly well-known bath diet. The prey model diet, whereby they are giving the entire carcass, okay, uh, because uh, in the wild they eat everything, uh, or the idea behind it is that the dogs, they eat everything. They don't just eat the muscle, or they don't just eat the bone, or they don't, they don't just eat the, the, the offal, the uh, intestines and things like that. Uh, in Chinese, we call them the spare parts. But hey, there you go. So, uh, three different sort of uh, models out there. Fundamentally, it is all very, very similar in the way it is prepared before it is sold. So, as you can see, uh, it talks about, you know, it's usually, they come either fresh, okay, or they can be dehydrated or sometimes they're frozen, okay? And because it is a raw diet and it's not adding in grains and things like that, it is quite a lot of water, just like our own composition in our own body, 60 to 80% water, okay? It is a growing market. Having said that, it is still less than 1% of the market share. And that is quite surprising to hear, but that is true. So most people are still going for uh, dry food or wet food or a bit of mix compared to the raw diet. So, advantages does include question, I put a question mark behind the health benefits because um, it is uh, it has been sort of claimed to help that. Um, but certainly it's uh, really, really hard to say because a lot of the claims are all quite subjective. Um, talking about better hair coats, better for their guts, more oil in their uh, more oil that improves the immune system of the skin. Um, so same again, better hair coats. Uh, owners have also described them to be a bit more healthy, a bit more um, bright and happy and more themselves, more energetic. Uh, and the whole idea, and this is, this is an idea that is much closer to nature, uh, that in the wild, you know, they, uh, they'll be eating a, uh, sort of other smaller prey, so it's much closer to nature compared to giving um, sort of uh, preservatives and different sort of uh, chemicals and different sort of mixture. So those are the advantages. So the disadvantages is talking about increased care of uh, handling and potential infectious organisms and potential zoonosis. We will uh, discuss that in a bit. So um, certainly handling is a bit different from compared to just giving a dry food dry food you know they're just you're, you're just talking about kibble and just pouring it uh, some people they live in the bag some people they all pour into the whole big jug to be dispensed slowly over time and certainly there isn't any sort of uh, additional um, focus or consideration when we're handling the food um, Potential infectious organisms we're discussing about things like a Salmonella, Campylobacter, that can potentially cause uh, issues because if the raw food is not uh, sort of, um, if the diet is not a well prepared or well kept and well maintained, and when I say prepared, I'm talking about preparation from the factory or from the, uh, the wholesaler to yourself. And uh, after that, uh, maintenance of keeping, are you keeping in the fridge or the freezer? Um, and uh, when the other side of preparing is, when you're preparing it, when you're defrosting that for your pet, um, what goes on over there? Is, that, is it pretty okay? Uh, or are there sort of other issues going to that? And more concerningly is zoonosis. So, you know, certainly we know that the spread of Campylobacter and Salmonella can go to humans and hence uh, naturally the whole concern is like, oh my God, now I'm now introducing a diet with potential issues that somebody in the family may get sal Salmonella and Campylobacter. So I thought I'd introduce this uh, interesting cartoon snip for you. <laughs> 